Hey everyone, so I'm gonna give my update to my Project 10 Pan. So let's just go, go ahead and jump right into it. Um, so, let's start with the fragrance. So I had actually put the fragrances that were, they are both the same fragrance, it's the original Juicy Couture fragrance. This one was full, and then this one, um, there was like, I don't know, a little less than half. And I put them in this little um, atomizer, I guess, uh, and I used it up. I used the last bit this morning. So and I'm using that in conjunction with like fragrances that I'm trying to use up from my finish 5 by Cinco de Mayo. Like I finished other fragrances and I added more. So next is the Caudalie Makeup Remover Cleansing Water. And this is, sorry for the light you guys, but this is where I was and I have just a smidge left so probably about one maybe two more uses. Let's see what else. Putting them in my little Ziploc, well the smaller ones, in a little Ziploc bag as I finish talking about them. Um, I have this Tarte Smooth Operator Micronized Clay Finishing Powder. Um, so it's just like a mini. I have like a few of these minis like from different kits and I got like a full size and some other kit and I'm like, I like it, but I just don't know if I need that many of them, so I just don't know. I like it though. I feel like it serves its purpose, but as you can see here, it's kind of hard to, like, that's how much progress I made. Can you see? There we go. So the top line is where I started at the beginning of this project and the second line below that is where I am at the moment. And honestly, a tiny little bit goes a long way, so it's, I feel like it's going to take a long time for this to be completed. I don't anticipate this um, being done before the end of this month. But that's okay, because I actually kind of like it. I feel like it actually does kind of make me more poreless looking. And I have a lot of pores, and they're very big, so. Um, next is the Lancome Nutrix Nutri Royal Body Intense Restoring Lipid Enriched Lotion, which I got from a um, gift with purchase from Lancome. And so this is where I started, and here's where I am right now. Um, so I just have that little bit, and that will be gone before the end of the month for sure. And so this is the Bath & Body Works Japanese Cherry Blossom Oil Infused with Rice Luxurious Moisture with a Radiant Sheen. So it's a rice dry oil spray. Um, whoop, let me turn a little. So this is where I started and that's where I am right now. So what I will say about this is I am going to not be using this anymore for the remainder of this project or ever. Um, about almost a week ago, I winded up not using it anymore because like I, I get eczema and every once in a while, the most common place for me that I get it is on my hands, but for some reason that I feel like flared up the eczema on my arms, so like all my arms and my, my shins and my thighs. Like, I'm getting eczema and it's not fun, so I'm like, this is not worth finishing up to have eczema. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'd rather not have eczema and then just get rid of this. So, I will ask my mom if she wants it, but this is no longer going to be my project. Um, I'm going to finish this up and I will just continue using another lotion that I wanted done um, before the end of this year. So, it'll just be cycled over to the next product that's in line. So, sorry if that's disappointing you guys, but I just can't. I cannot. If anyone has eczema, or if you know someone that has eczema, like, you know how annoying, and it's just, it, it's irritating. Like, your skin is just not happy. So, that's what happened to me, and yeah, I'm done. <laughs> okay, moving right along. Um, we'll do the lip glosses. So, this is Buxom's Full Body Lip Gloss in Pucker Up. So, whoop, let me hold it back a little. So, let's see here. 
There we go. I don't know if you can see the glare. The top line is where I started. This is where I am now. I have just a little bit left. Um, I feel like I need to focus on this a little more and then I will finish it. And then the other one is Sephora's lip gloss. I can't remember the actual name of the gloss, but it's called um, Number 22 Deep Rose. And the top line is where I started. This is where I am right now. I do think this is something I can finish as well. So let's just keep on going. Um, by the way, I have on Pucker Up from Buxom on right now. And I think the last video where I had my hair up in a ponytail, <clears throat> um, I had that on too. So and just in case anyone was wondering, I really do wish that they sold that by itself because it's a really great color. So next is um, are some uh, concealer and then um, my mascara. So let's do the mascara first. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Million Lashes Excess. It looks like this. There's not really a whole lot of anything to show, but what I did say is I will be using this either until it becomes a hassle to use, it flakes, it clumps, like it's just hard to work with, or at the end of this month it's going to be gone. Just because it's been, it's old and I'm not going to be, I'm just not one of those people who with mascaras especially, like, I'm not going to use it until the bitter end. I'm not going to be... <sighs> Normally, I should say, there are very few mascaras that I will use until the bitter end. And I'm like, yes, it's going to be... I'm going to use that second until it's dried out, or there's no product on the brush. It, I just don't have time in the morning, or when I'm getting ready. Even if it's not in the morning, it's afternoon, I'm finally putting makeup on. I just don't have the patience to, like, sit there and make it work for me. It's just, it better work, or it's got to go. So... I do like this. It's still working great. Um, I have it on today. I don't know if you can see. I do like it a lot. But at the end of the month, it's going to go. And the last items are concealers. So one of them is going to be the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer 2-in-1 Concealer and Highlighter in 125 Fair. Um, I didn't mark this because I feel like this is something that's kind of hard to mark. And this is... How much I have left even if I like squeeze it all the way down like if I go like that so you can actually see like yeah. there's just a little bit left and this is something I actually do wind up using to highlight with like down the bridge of my nose etc etc um, I like it a lot actually and I feel like there's like an air bubble in here so I don't know if there's actually a crap ton, ton of product if this is really true to what it is because it doesn't feel like it um, so I'm going to assume that this will be done by the end of the month. We'll see. I'll let you know for sure. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Um, so I had focused on that one more than this next one that I'm going to show you. And this is from Maybelline. It's the Dream Lumi Touch Highlighting Concealer in the color Radiant. So that top line is where I started. And then right below that is where I am right now. Um, oh, my neck. I had to pop it. When I started, so actually I didn't start using this until about maybe like four days ago. So I am going to anticipate finishing this uh, on my final update, which is going to be the next video, or the video that follows this um, series. So yeah, I will keep you guys posted. Uh, that's where I am. I'm actually pretty happy with the progress that I made so far. I am kind of bummed out that this little guy is like giving me eczema. Um, so I don't know if it's the actual product or if it's just too old and that's why, which wouldn't be surprising anyways. Um, but if you guys have any questions, please let me know and um, I will try to respond back to you as soon as possible. And thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.